Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. I am doing a series of journal flip throughs. I made seven butterfly themed journals. This video is journal number three and journal number four. Mary has dibs on this one if she wants it, but there are two that she's choosing between. And then Vanessa and somebody else is in line for this one. This is the yellow one. So this is a flip through, but it's possible that neither one of these is available. We'll have to see what Mary says about this one. So I'm just going to flip through them, show you my ideas. Each one of these has turned out different. There isn't a formula. There isn't a set number of pockets or ephemera. Nothing. There's probably not even a set number of pages. Number three is a little cleaner. And that means it just doesn't have as much junk. It's less of a junk style. This is some wrapping paper. Now, if memory serves me, it was Italian wrapping paper. It's smooth and thick and wonderful, and it just makes me happy to touch it. And then I added this funny clip just because it kind of makes me happy. And I thought it needed a little whimsy. It could be removed, of course, or moved around, whatever. And it's stitched with a brown and just really natural looking cover. Then on the inside, we have a little bit rowdier wrapping paper. Both of these wrapping papers were gifted to me by Mary. And this patterned paper had everything on it except the sentiment. So I stamped the sentiment and it almost looks like it was born there. And it says, the joy of the journey is best measured by friends, not the miles. That would be good for a road trip. These journals could be for anything that you want. I just make them and hope that they inspire you. Life is the flower, love is the honey. Amazing and a journaling card right here. And butterflies, you're gonna see butterflies everywhere. Butterfly die cut here. Then we have these little notepads. They're not post-its, but they're connected. Each one you can tear off. And this is actually a double pocket, but it tucks right in there. And a butterfly punch along here. And some of this paper has a little bit of black ink. I probably got messy, but I think it's fine. There's ink in the book. Difficult things take a long time, impossible things a little longer, and then a die cut and another die cut, and a journaling card with layered butterflies, and you can write on the back too. What the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. And I leave all the threads. So if you like more of a clean style, then get out your scissors and trim everything tidy, and if that makes you happy, there you go. I can remove them, but I can't add them back. So that's why I leave them all that way. I try to remember. Your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly and a sticker here and a butterfly. I don't know, maybe it needs a little something right there. You can decide. A journaling card that I've stamped on and stamped on and it says, let your beautiful soul shine. And then the back is ready to write on. And a pocket just to add a little color you could tuck photos in there. You can move the pocket around. If you haven't heard me say it before, I encourage you when you get a journal from me, take all the stuff out of it. Take it all out, throw it on your dining room table, and rearrange it how you want it. I have completely blank pages. You can stamp on them, glue on them, write on them, whatever you want to do, but I tried to leave room for writing. I love beautiful papers, but I do try and leave room. You could put in photos, recipes, whatever. This vellum is just a showstopper. It won't do it justice on camera. It just won't. It has a script in the background, has a little bit of like water colored stuff going on, and the blue just helps the different colors in it pop. Love it. Here we have a heat embossed gold thing that was colored by my friend Noni, and then I made it a pocket here. And then we have this cute pocket in the center. I did some collaging on it and put a little envelope in it. It's actually junk mail. Use that junk mail. And then on the back, again, a little bit of stamping for interest, some collaging, a sticker and a die cut. Kind of like this page, just how it all lays out. Don't be discouraged. It's often the last key in the bunch that opens the lock. I like inspirational sentiments and there are some butterfly ones in these and there are just general inspiration also. This is a stamped 
butterfly that I cut out and then put on here. Nice big journaling card. You could also use these big cards to add photos to or collage on, whatever you want to do. This is a piece of vellum with a little bit of pattern and then it goes over this butterfly pattern paper. You could also put like photographs or collaging in here and it would look really cool. Look at that. That's so cute. I better just put that in here somewhere in case somebody wants to have it for there later. Okay, we'll put it right there. So you can have things showing through the vellum and that adds a lot of fun. Then this page is stamped some flowers and then there's a butterfly pocket right here. Just a bit of paper with this same collection so you have some of those colors dream laugh love it's kind of fun to do the impossible and a really cute butterfly die cut on that one and just a card ready for you to do whatever you want the different journals have different die cuts and different papers all kinds of different stuff so if there's something you absolutely love it may or may not be another's really fun stencil live and that same paper and a page to do whatever and then we're going down with the vellum again this page without change there would be no butterflies and some butterflies stamped here and a journaling card that just matches those papers as if i planned it this one is a page that's meant to look like a book page the designer and then on the back you could just put whatever you wanted And I haven't stamped all over this one as much. It's a little, hmm, oh, just a little cleaner style, like I said. Here we have a butterfly that I used on a lot of them, but different colors. It says blessed, and it picks up the greens of this page and blue. And this one just plays off of the other colors. Then here we have junk mail collaged on and a die cut. And then you pull this out and you have more butterflies and you can journal on the back. Just a fun little pocket. It'll make you look at junk mail differently. <laughs> that vellum, isn't it luscious? It has a little bit of texture too, like an embossed because of the heat embossing on it. Really nice. And then this one, I used a punch to get a pattern and let a little bit of that gold and color peek through. And this was a giant chipboard piece that just said, I need to be on this page. Your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly and then it's stamped down here and stamped. Every once in a while you might see the same sentiment in a journal, but you know, the pieces are loose a lot of them, so you can take them out if you don't like them. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And I would probably add some more stuff here, but you don't have to, no pressure. Every once in a while, I have to have a clean one in the group. This is probably the cleanest one, Mary, just so you know, number three. So if you wanted a cleaner one, this is probably the way to go. Okay, then here, this tips out. I felt like I wanted to leave a lot of space for the recipient to use and do things, but a tip out like this gives you an envelope to put something in, an envelope here. Then I put an envelope in it, and I have some die cuts, some stickers, and a wood butterfly piece. And I'm trying to put little kit items like this in each one. So you should see that stuff. If you don't, you can always say, hey, Sarah, you forgot one. <laughs> and this, the colors are a little bit off for this, but I just wanted it in here. Just wanted to use it. Know your limits, but never stop trying to exceed them. Then here we have lace on paper and zigzag and an envelope in the pocket. So you can put stuff in it, or you could just pull these out and use them somewhere else if you don't like the red in here. And then this back page would just be gorgeous to write on. And then here you have the smooth wrapping paper again. Now you probably can't write on this, maybe if you used a Sharpie, but you could, you could take a Sharpie and like doodle around the butterflies and play with them or journal all through here, or you could glue photos or pockets, whatever. I like this one, I like how it feels. The paper on the outside is pretty substantial feeling and it, it's just nice. And you can see it does have a little bit of messy coming out, but not much, very clean. And if you don't like that or the person Mary gives it to doesn't, they can just cut that right off. This is what I call the yellow one. It is a napkin on the outside. So the cover is a little bit more 
unruly, maybe. It's a, if you didn't see the process videos early on, it's a mailing envelope. And then I covered it with a napkin. So it's not real sturdy. I would probably treat this well. I would accept the fact that it's not gonna be straight and it's not gonna be sturdy and it's still gonna be beautiful. Love it. And then I stitched it with a yellow thread. And on the inside, we have just random stuff. A pocket, a yellow tag, some daisies, some pink stitching on here. I'll zoom you in a little bit more. And write your own story and a card to do it on. And this is a double pocket. So there's a pocket behind and then a pocket in. And this one, <laughs> I kept taking whatever I put in here out because I just like to look at this paper with this lace on it. The lace has yellow in it and the page, it's just gorgeous. So you can put stuff in there, but I, I probably wouldn't, I don't know. And then down here, I have a button dangle with a butterfly charm on it, and I've just hooped it on. So you could change it up, you could move it around. This just comes right off like a safety pin. I don't know what they are called. Hooped it on, That's there's the lingo for you. This, I kinda like, I think I would use this as a journaling page because the lines would help me keep it straight. Cheryl, look at this page. Is this for us or what? Yellow and blue. I just kept adding to this page and having a great time. So I have a journaling card, another journaling card, and I probably have stamped on these. Each day brings a new reason to be grateful. Love that. That's a honeybee stamp stamp, I'm sure. There were there was another stamp in there too, but I pretty much bought it for that one. Look at this. This was, I don't know, somewhere along the way in a project. This is a tissue box, blue tissue box, stitched up, layered, and then this little pocket says, never lose hope. I'm not sure how much I've done to this since the process video. So you guys may have seen this. If you watch all my videos, you might be bored, but sorry. Okay, then yellow to write on. Oh, this I stuck in here. I sprayed it, then it didn't totally speak to me, but it's a doily with yellow. I think it belongs with this journal. So I just tucked it in here with the blessed butterfly, and I love this one. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love that one. Then this paper, it just speaks to me. This is just fun. You've got some green vellum and I tore the edge to just make it more interesting. Paper that I dyed blue. This, one of you happy mailed this to me. It may have been Paula. I'm not sure, but somebody sent me this in happy mail. I was trying to use a couple of these really cute happy mail folder type things, or maybe they came in a lot from somewhere. I don't know. I know I used some stuff from Paula. I'm just not sure if this was it. It's all layered up. So you've got collage and a multi-layer sticker and then some gingham down the side. Gingham? No, rickrack down the side. And I just loved it. So some of them I had to like trim down a little and then I re-inked the edges to tie them into the book. But those things that you admire in your craft room for, I don't know, a year or three, and then you think, okay, I'm gonna share them with somebody else. And so I really started doing that, having a great time with it. I hope that's okay with the people who sent them to me. I, I would think it is, right? You're getting your beautiful stuff out there. Then I collaged on the back, it was white. And so I tried to have a butterfly coming out of the pocket. It's a double pocket, which is a little bit tricky. Inspire and shine. Follow your dreams, and that's collaged on just fun little stuff that I wanted to say. I love this page with the blue and the butterflies. And without change, there would be no butterflies. See how this one is really busy compared to number three. So if you're somebody who wants a more what they call naked journal, you might just have to tell me sometime that you want one because I just get on a roll and I can't help it. Without change, there would be no butterflies. Once upon a time... And then this one has stickers and die cuts and a wood butterfly in there. And I always, if you purchase one of my journals, I will always send you what you see with it. I may also add more. I won't, you know, change, but I just, when I clean up, I put more and more stuff in. Look at this. I couldn't decide where it should go, but it has to go with this journal. So, oops, I'm going to put this back here. So this is a little pocket right here, and I just wanted to make sure the people knew. Yellow butterfly, a little pink puffy butterfly, and it says magical right there. And then this gorgeous die cut, and I went back and forth. 
Should it be like that? Is that too much? I don't know. This says, besides the noble art of getting things done, there is a noble art of leaving things undone. Hmm. Not bad for a butterfly journal, right? You're thinking about change and becoming and what's going on. Oh, I just love. Sometimes you just buy paper and think, I don't even want to put anything on it. I just want to look at it. I just want to put it in the middle of a journal and say, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and you guys know blue is my love, but oh, I couldn't help it. Okay. All good things are wild and free. And I have put, let me check, nothing <laughs> except some butterfly stamps right here. This would be a neat place to journal or collage or whatever you want, add stuff. And then this envelope, this came in happy mail and I love it. I added the 2022. Once again, if you don't like it or that doesn't work for you or you don't get it done, cut it off, chop it off, whatever. Maybe you don't use it till 2025. Happily ever after starts here. You can write on the back what makes your happily ever after. Seek joy. And then I put a little tiny tab right here to pull it out. I've been experimenting with those a little bit. I just love this page. I think I could just I don't know, like leave it open. If you leave this open on your desk, even if you're working all day, this is just happy. Like you can't be in a bad mood. Love it. And the bird, oh my gosh. This was, uh, I want to say a Chow Bella paper. I don't know if that's true, but somewhere it's in my videos. Okay. Each day brings a new reason to be grateful. And then the bird and listen to your soul daffodils this is why i put this one in the yellow journal daffodils come before the swallow dares and take the winds of march with beauty and that's shakespeare but i just thought daffodils yellow journal there we go okay this page got a little crazy this yellow die cut and then your wings already exist all you have to do is fly you can tell i like that stamp it's very bold too so it stamps nicely and then a little hidden journaling spot on the back too cute and die cut butterflies and then a pocket with a tag and ribbon stamped out here and this is also a double pocket back here so you could put more than one thing in there and then just a bit of stamping and a butterfly, add some interest. The blue paper, the vellum, the other side of that. There we go. Oh, this, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Okay, this is a golden green paper layered on butterflies with a creamy yellowish lace on top of it. It's pretty amazing. I gotta say, and I'm not that girly. This one, I like how this turned out. Okay, this was... I don't know, Project Life or some big card. And it said, living life one day at a time. I added the Choose Joy and this little tab that matches that and then stitched on it. It's just fun. Turned out cute. Really like that. You need a little joy. In my journals, there has to be a little joy. Here's another one of those heat embossing things. It's trash from my friend Noni that I just love. And then this is a punch card. I think Crafty Bean sent me these time cards. It's a little tall. If that bothers you, trim it. Either trim down here or trim the top or don't put it in here at all maybe if it just doesn't work for you. Sometimes I try things and if they don't speak to you then they go. Okay here's that same stamp that was in the front of the other one that I love. The joy of the journey is best measured by friends not the miles and it's on a journaling card and then stamped on the back and it's kind of a thin piece of paper. I mean journal card might be a stretch but I don't like to make them so thick that you can't have a million. Here I have an embossed pocket with butterflies on it. Can you see it? There you go. And I put in it this envelope that had yellow daisies stamped on it. I think this came in Happy Mail because I don't have that stamp or that ink, but I just thought it was fun here. And then in the back, you can just admire this paper all day long. And here we go. It's the same stamp. So if you don't like the sentiment repeating, you can take them out. And I just stamped all over this and had a great time all different stamps, and then it goes really nicely here in this butterfly pocket die cut. Vanessa's gonna tell us if she's taken that one or not. 
Mary's going to tell us if she wants number three. And they are $25 a piece, all in, shipped in the U.S. So including shipping, $25. This is three. This is four. When you see this video, I think there will be two more flip throughs. I think you will already have seen one in Joy of Blue. I'll try and keep you posted in updates videos if you want to know if there are any still available. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing and taking really great care of yourselves. If you're a new journaler and you want to learn about making journals, I have a beginner series on my channel. I have grown. I can see I'm getting better at attaching certain things or figuring things out. But if you just want to start and take some scrapbook paper and make a book, I've got a video series that will help you get started. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.